Are you standing outside the McDonald's earlier? Right <laughs> yeah, you guys passed me. Yeah. Hey guys, what's good? It's Christmas today and to start off this romantic day we're gonna go to a barbecue that's hosted by Daigo Saito and uh, he's hosting one today which is the Christmas day and he's hosting one on the, on the Sunday and Monday of the Tokyo Auto Salon but I'll tell you about that later down in the video how you can join that so let's go and check out what's happening in his uh, Fat Five uh, garage. So it's located in here in this area. And here we have an abandoned Supra that's pretty pimped out. I wonder who owns this. It's got that rare badge up on the front. And it is a twin turbo, looks like one of those uh, high-speed racing supers back in the day. Here we go, twin turbo, 1GG. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder if one of those uh, stories of finding an abandoned cars and restoring it to full can apply to me here. Maybe I can buy it out, but obviously, probably not. First, you have to find the owner. What do we got inside? A roll cage, some thick racing. Actually, quite some serious setup on the inside. NOS sticker. I don't know if there is actually a nitrous oxide system, but if it is, then definitely it's one of those one gun late night speeding race cars what an absolute legend dying here in the bushes here you go so right at the entrance here there is this liberty walk slash I don't know, just aftermarket body kits on the Ferrari collection. It's three old Ferraris and a Diablo. All of them are in exact same matching color. A nice red. This right here we have a Mark II. Actually, it's up for sale. Almost 20k Canadian, so I'm assuming it's about 15k US. Not a bad price. I mean, if you come to this barbecue you might actually pick it up it's on uh, Sunday and Monday of the uh, Tokyo Auto Salon so if you're coming over for this barbecue party that's happening here as well pick this one up drive it around Japan for a little bit and then send it off to wherever you came from Australia Canada US Europe this one is actually it's not a bad it's actually has a Kakimoto exhaust so this one sounds I'm sure it sounds pretty good this one is one of the loudest exhausts and the most best sounding exhausts for the JZ believe me I know what I'm talking about Fuck. 
The thing does look pretty clean. I mean, if you don't count all this uh, tire debris that's uh, accumulated on the car over all these drifting sessions. A nice JZX90 blade on the back, a restyling blade. I mean, I mean the uh, tail lights. Fenders are somewhat cracked though. But it comes on a nice Advance with some Yokohana. This one is a pretty nice uh, looking uh, Mark II. Almost full OEM except for the body kit and the wheels. Nicely spacked. And this one is for sure my next goal. I need to have the 90 as well. That's the uh, recipe for reinforcing your engine mounts from Daigo Saito. Seems pretty fair to me. The two of these are apparently a good drift missile, I did know that. I guess the recipe for that is the strap bolts on the engine and the welded rear diff and those things will serve you well and make you happy see what's this five racing is fat five is uh, basically ffp is uh, some kind of a wordplay which is which means uh, what does it mean daigo daigo racing i think fat five is daigo racing in japanese some gangster vespas what is that Fagio Vespa, yeah, nice. Skyline, the precious, amazing build. Nothing really clean built. There is absolutely nothing in here that's useless. Steering wheel, gearbox, couple of buttons here, and the handbrake. You don't need absolutely anything else in the car. This is such a clean and nice build. I'm not sure what's the engine right here, but it looks like a V8 since it has the eight uh, ITBs in it. Of course, the fender mirrors and the white fenders. Just an amazing looking Skyline GTR. I'm not sure if that's the Nismo exhaust or not sticking out of the back. At least the shape is. Vorkmeisters M1 and some pretty serious Wilwood brakes that look like bicycle brakes. A sweet setup for sure. Really cool. <laughs> ah. Everyone crying. I'll probably try it, yeah. A little drift tricker game going on here. Apparently, it's on Christmas sale. Oh, I'm gonna try it out. Uh huh. Yeah, but uh, uh, anyway, you can try. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's an axle. Yeah. yeah. And brake. Brake. Uh, brake. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a gear. Uh, yeah. Uh, four, uh, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Let's go!
expecting the face with everything. Were you standing outside the McDonald's earlier? <laughs> Yeah, you guys passed it. Yeah. Oh, no. Why did they do shit? <laughs> Twelve seconds later. <laughs> At the end of the event, there was a rock, paper, scissors draw. And although I didn't win a single round, I still got some stuff from the sponsors, like this uh, oil spray. I mean. That's really handy to have around. This ginormous 850 mil brake cleaner. We've got four of those, why not? And this little handy thing that's called tire gripper spray or tire grip spray. Basically how it works is that you spray it on your tires in the winter time. If you're around ice or you want to go up a hill that's icy. I think it works per application, I don't see how it would work on snow, but it might work, uh, you know, if there is ice under the snow, but anyways, yeah, the way that it works is if you're stuck somewhere, you just apply it on, and it uh, should, uh, you know, it should help you get out of the tough situation. I'm not sure some of them claim to be good for up to 100 kilometers, but uh, I doubt that. Still a good thing to have around. And the other thing that we got is breathalyzer. As much as you think this is useless, actually it's pretty useful in Japan because drinking and driving in Japan is really prohibited all the way to the next level and uh, to be honest, if you get caught driving and uh, drinking or drinking and driving, you know, you're gonna make it probably to the nationwide channel news and especially if you're gaijin, everybody's just gonna hate you. And yeah, don't drink and drive in Japan. This is seriously prohibited here. Epilog.
so yeah basically once again this barbecue is happening on uh, during the weekend of the uh, Tokyo Auto Salon on Sunday and on Monday but uh, even if you're not in Japan during these times just uh, give him a follow at 55fet5land on Instagram as well as the, his personal Instagram because these barbecues they actually happen every month or every second month and um, you know what it's a really really interesting event to visit and there is tons of stuff happening downtown on the Christmas so we'll go explore that a little bit and we'll see you in the next video so ciao